Hi Pisces, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for June 2016. This month I laid out the five card rainbow tarot spread for you using the Hanson Roberts tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings and to get a reading with details pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This video is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Ascendant, and Pisces Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because some months they will definitely resonate more for you than your sun sign will. Feel free to check out the video that would correspond to your north node of your moon. I have received some messages recently from viewers who are finding that to be accurate for them. I cannot attest to that, but if you have your natal chart and you know where the north and south node, node of the moon are in your chart, feel free to watch the video for your north node of your moon. In honor of it being the two years anniversary of my readings here on YouTube and that it is the midpoint of the year being June I am doing a five card rainbow tarot spread for you for download and purchase where I'm using the Aquarian tarot deck so when I do finish the five cards here using the Hanson Roberts deck I am pulling another five cards but that will be for from June to the beginning of January. If you would like to get those readings, please click on the link below in the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for mid-year psychic tarot reading 2016 for each sign of the Zodiac for download and purchase. You can also access these videos by going to my website www theluckymermaid.com, clicking on the videos tab on my menu and going to page six. <clears throat> it will be at the top of the page and you just click on your sign and it will take you to that video. I want to thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate all of your kind comments that you guys have left under the videos and have emailed me. I really truly appreciate it and I also am thankful for all of your purchases of the Vimeo videos and your emails and messages about that as well, that you're finding them to be accurate and helpful and useful to you. I do appreciate it. It means a lot and I'm very grateful for that. So thank you for that Pisces. So now on to your reading for June 2016. <clears throat> The first card you have that shows up here today, Pisces, you have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords to me is an air sign male. This would either be a Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, Sun sign, Rising sign, or Moon sign. Uh, don't be thrown. Women can also show up as kings in a general reading. I feel like you're going to go round and round with this person. Maybe battling it, or let's just say... A lot of back and forth energy between you and this King of Swords. I don't feel like you're feeling that good about this person anymore. I feel like there's been too much said, too many things said, too much time wasted. Um, and I just feel like your opinion of them is has diminished or you, you don't feel the same way about them anymore. I feel like you've listened to all that they've had to say and some of the things that they've said has clouded your mind or clouded your mind and impression about them, one or the other or both. You've had some kind of relationship with him, but you know, relationships are all different. It could be romantic relationship. It could be a working relationship or business partnership relationship. <clears throat> I'm not sure they're not really drilling it down for me to know exactly how you are connected to him other than they're using the word you've had some kind of relationship, but that's, that doesn't just mean romance. For some of you, you've had a little bit of a rivalry with this King of Swords. I feel like in some ways you can't complete transactions with them 
or they're quite impossible to deal with or to work with. So um, it's coming up as like kind of a contentious relationship, at least right now in June. I don't know that you're cutting your ties off with them completely, but I feel like you may be taking like a step back from them <clears throat> and dealing with them less or deciding, you know what, I'm going to deal with this person less. Uh, I don't feel like you're like ending a friendship, ending a relationship, ending a, I'm not feeling that. I'm just getting like taking a breather, taking a step back. Uh, I feel that sometimes this uh, King of Swords feels too confusing to you, too overwhelming to you. I feel that you feel they waste time, they confuse you with the things that they say. That's how it comes up. This King of Swords may actually have some legality circling around them right now. That's not going to be the case for all of you, but I definitely get some legal things like affecting them. Maybe he or she is going through a divorce or a lawsuit or, <clears throat> you know, something involving legal things could be circling uh, around this King of Swords. So the next card you have in your reading, Pisces, is the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is a card to me that symbolizes God. God showing up in your reading, giving you blessings, could be giving you a warning, could also be saying that you are involved with higher education or higher learning. <clears throat> I hear taking a step back and also traveling lightly, lightening your load of things. I feel like that doesn't just have to mean stuff. It can also mean emotionally and mentally and energetically lightening your load uh, can mean that also. I feel like you're going to start assembling things more quickly. And I feel that some of you are going to be working with like three or four new people that you haven't worked with before. So for some of you, maybe some new people are entering, if you work for somebody else, some new people are entering uh, your workplace and you're going to be working with them. And for some reason, this change may be making you assemble things more quickly, uh, get things together faster. <clears throat> for some of you that own your own business, you could be hiring these people and then it's the same situation. Things get, you know, more efficient, done more quickly, that kind of energy. I do feel that some of you Pisces are starting to become more um, affluent and more important or more of a central focus in your job or, you know, whether it's your own business or whether it's, you know, you're working for somebody else. So I do feel like this becoming more important at your job shows up. I do see some of you taking a test of some sort because I'm seeing studying and taking a test. Maybe you have to take a test to pass some, you know, maybe you're getting a degree and this is like a final exam so you have to go through. Some of you it could be if you had to take some specialized training for your job. Uh, you're taking a test and you're going to get some kind of certificate or it amplifies what you're doing at work. Um, <clears throat> I just see you taking tests, studying and taking tests Many of you, for many of you Pisces. I feel that some of you have been focusing on like trying to give up any bad habits. So if you smoke or, you know, you feel like you drink too much or you smoke too much or maybe you have a bad habit of letting people take power away from you and giving your power over to others or you know maybe you have a bad habit of uh, spending too much money or eating the wrong foods it could be anything i see you focusing on some kind of thing in your life that you feel like this is a bad habit and i need to reduce doing it or clear it out completely i do see that for some of you pisces with this here fan card so the next card you have, Pisces, that's crowning your reading for June 2016 is the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is a card to me that symbolizes being at peace and contentment with your life, with financial stability and abundance behind you. 
I do see some of you accumulating money and keeping it under wraps not letting people know about it like kind of hiding it away like okay I'm making some good money now but I'm not gonna let anybody know that you know maybe you don't want family taking advantage of you and saying oh look uh, you know mom or dad got a raise so I'm gonna go hit them up for some cash or any you know any siblings that could ask you for money or any friends that maybe are like oh this one's just got cash so I'm not gonna pay for dinner and lunch let them do it you may it may be for other reasons I just see some of you getting some money or some money you're seeing money increase in your life in some way this could be f through investments paying off it could also be through you know any raise you get or anything like that an inheritance it could be anything that you are going to keep that on the down low you're not going to let it out for everybody to know that you you've got this increase some of you may also be taking a step back from a relationship that you're in that I'm hearing is wanting and waxing wanting and waxing like the moon or you could say ebbs and flows like the tides I see some of you Pisces are taking a step back from a relationship like that and like evaluating it or reevaluating it comes up so uh, that's not going to be the case for all of you but those of you that will know if it's you because you will have been in a relationship that ebbs and flows that maybe doesn't seem like consistent um, so think on that Pisces I do feel that some of you Pisces are really getting some answers to some of your questions or troubles that you're pondering in your sleep state because it is coming up here so I feel some of you are actually your spirit guides or deceased loved ones are really coming through for you when you're in uh, when you're asleep and they're giving you ideas messages inspirations I'm getting all of that uh, coming up here for you Pisces I do feel that some of you Pisces are going to be getting uh, invited to attend some kind of special gathering it could be a ball it could be somebody's wedding it could be a big you know like a big reception of some sort or a huge anniversary party or a huge retirement party or graduation party I don't know but I get it's like a special event for some of you it's not it's it's like maybe not involving family it could be like the mayor invites you <laughs> I know some of you are going to be shaking your head on that one but I mean I see for some of you Pisces getting inv invited to a special event and I feel that that this is to me it feels like it's in June so on to the next card Pisces now you have the hanged man and the hanged man is a card that says you're in limbo you're not moving forward you're not moving backward you're in a state of suspended animation and this can be frustrating for you and you have to draw from your own psychic ability and your own intuition at the time that you have uh, this limbo feeling happening in your life I feel like you're dithering about something what do I do what do I do do I put this on paper do I write this down some of you may be changing your resume uh, some of you may be having to write uh, I mean I'm old school sorry uh, I used to write cover letters and resumes to send out to jobs I know now it's all, all mostly done through the computer and so maybe that doesn't apply anymore but um, I see you struggling about what you're writing down about some kind of information you have to put down on paper maybe it's something you need to fill out for a bank loan maybe you're trying to ad adopt a child and there's information you have to write down on your adoption papers uh, you know maybe it's could be some kind of questionnaire or something that your place of employment wants information and you have to provide it maybe it's the government asking you for the information I just see you like struggling with some information you have to write down on paper 
Maybe you're taking the SATs or taking some kind of tests and you're unsure about the answers. It could also be that because I'm seeing you worry about what you're having to write down. In many cases, I feel it's information about you pertaining to you, your life uh, for, for many of you. I get this struggle in you, back and forth, push and pull, not really wanting to write stuff down. Like, I see you irritated about it, not just like worrying, like, oh, no, what do I write? I see you irritated about it, and I'm not so sure you like what happens after the paper is done, or you're just feeling aggravated after that, because I keep picking up you being frustrated and aggravated over this and trepidation and not really wanting to do it. If you're applying for a job, there's like seven or other seven or eight other people vying for this position. Maybe you already work for a company and like there's seven or eight of you all trying to get this raised and elevated position. And so you don't really like that feeling. It's not like it's you and one other person. It might be you and eight other people. So that makes you maybe making you feel more anxious over it so i know that message isn't going to make sense to all of you pisces and as i always say if you're finding that these messages for your sun sign do not make sense to you please watch your rising sign and or your moon sign because your messages for june might be coming to you there i feel if you're working for somebody else that there's somebody that has left the company and um i feel that your responsibilities and job duties may be changing so I see somebody leaving. I also hear the word undermined. That person may have gotten undermined. So maybe they got fired or maybe, you know, or maybe they didn't like what happened to them. So they left. But now I feel because they leave, your job duties and responsibilities are changing. That could also be in groups that you're involved with. It, and, and like, especially if there's any structure in the group where somebody's the president, somebody's the treasurer, somebody's the vice president, somebody does something else. It, it could be in that situation as well, uh, Pisces. It doesn't have to be a work-related situation. So your last card here, you have the Knight of Rods. And the Knight of Rods to me is a fire sign male that symbolizes an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. Uh, they could just have the personality traits of the Knight of Rods. Don't be thrown that it's a male. It could, you know, females can also be knights in a general reading. I hear you're coming to a time of closure, but I also hear you're coming to a time of decision making as well. So oddly enough, at first, it sounds like they're talking about you. I feel like you have another, challenges have been met and made, and I feel you have another project that's bigger coming right at you. So, wow, that's such a broad statement, but you have to think about how that will apply to you if you're working with another for another company, or if you're self-employed, or if you're not working at all, that may be very confusing. I feel this person, he, he, he or she can be a person that brings in challenges for you that gets held up in front of you like, do you want to take this challenge or do you not? So I feel in some cases this is a boss, you know, like an employer or an employer um, or somebody, if you own your own business, they could be coming in and saying, hey, I've got this great project I need you to do for me. It's pretty big. Here's what I need you to do. Can you do it? Are you willing to do it? So it could apply even if you own your own business. If you're a non-working Pisces, I feel that then a family member is coming in and bringing you something they need you to sort out. So if you're a non-working Pisces, I feel like a sibling or some family member to you, could be a son or daughter, but I, I feel like they come and say to you, I've got this issue. I've got this problem. Can you help me dissect it and sort it out? Maybe their bookkeeping is in a mess and their financial picture is confusing to them. And maybe you're really good with that. So they want to sit down with you and say, help me sort this out. Or maybe they're trying to settle up, you know, to start a trust fund for someone in the, you know, that's connected to them. And maybe you've done that before. Uh, or you've sent someone off to college and they're trying to do that with one of their kids and you've done that before. So they come to you and say, can you help me sort this out? This is confusing paperwork to me or I don't understand it. So either way, 
Pisces. There's somebody here. This Knight of Rods symbolizes somebody bringing you something that they're going to hold up and say to you, can you do this project for me? Can you sort this out for me? Whether it's through business or private. I do feel that's why this Knight of Rods has come up for you. So I hope this reading was helpful to you and I certainly hope it made sense. I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do appreciate that. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. That way you'll get notified when I post my monthly Psychic Tarot readings and my mid-month Psychic Tarot updates. Also, please be sure to follow me on Facebook and please click like over there. That means so much to me if you could do that. Um, because on Facebook I do share predictions and other things that might be interesting to you uh, that are of a spiritual nature. So that is The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and also follow me on Twitter. If you would like to receive a five card rainbow tarot spread for you for the mid-year of 2016 where I'm using the Aquarian Tarot deck Pisces please click on the link below in the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for the mid-year psychic tarot reading 2016 for each sign of the zodiac for download and purchase you can also access these videos by going to my website www theluckymermaid.com clicking on the videos tab on my menu and going to page six and it is at the top of page six just click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo I want to thank all of you so much for giving me a great two years here on YouTube I've really enjoyed doing the readings here for you I appreciate all of your appointments that you've been scheduling with me I appreciate all your kind comments and emails and validations and confirmations that means a lot I do appreciate it and I also appreciate all of your purchases on Vimeo and your emails and messages that they've been accurate for you and helpful for you that means a lot it's encouraging and uh, helps me to want to continue to do it so thank you so much I really appreciate that I wish you an amazing month of June Pisces and know that I wish you many blessings and peace